All right, guys, just want to talk quickly about a couple bags that I use and you see frequently on the channel. Uh, this is a newer one. This is an older one. So this is just a bag I got from Shields. It's one of those flat bags. It's a sand bag. Um, you know, it's a little bit heavy. It's not the ultralight fill. This is really versatile. Works great as a cylinder. You can kind of convert it in your hand. You can stuff it all into one side if you want to use it as a rear support bag, which is most of the time what I use this for. Uh, sometimes I've been running on these and, you know, on a tank trap, it can work. But it's not going to be like a threw it down once and it works thing. It usually falls off as soon as you put it on and you kind of have to readjust a little bit. It just takes a couple seconds. A little bit frustrating for game bags anyways. Uh, it's definitely no game changer. This bag's construction from Shields, it's, it's fine. It's like a $10 bag, guys. So it's Cordura. It definitely wears out. I think these last for about two years if you use them hard. That's about what I've noticed. Two seasons of, uh, you know, before something just rips and you could re -sew it and glue it. Do whatever you want. But that's like a $10 bag. If you wanted something a little better that's kind of built around the game or gun gun gaming kind of thing, this is the Wee Bad Mini Fortune Cookie. And so this is more like a $60 bag. It's hard to believe that a bag would cost 60 bucks. I know. But this is one of the more affordable ones out there. And I want to throw that out there because people who watch my channel are probably a little bit more on the practical side rather than the ridiculous, I'm a doctor and I spend lots of money on anything side. So anyways, this bag itself is not much bigger in the actual, uh, like, maybe dimensions that you're seeing right there. It doesn't seem a lot bigger, but the volume is definitely higher. Uh, this bag, in, in particular, doesn't have any separation in there, so all that fill kind of slides around how you want it. It works great as a rear support bag. It's not quite as versatile. With the rectangle bag, there's basically three ways. I can lay it flat, I can lay it on its side, or I can go up and down. Uh, you can kind of do that with this bag. It's a little bit more difficult to get it exactly how you want, but most of the time if I'm going to range to shoot groups and I want to do some really good groups, I, I'll just bring this one. When it comes to shooting off tank traps, railings, you know, like gun games, things like that, or even just uh, make, maybe, maybe an unsupported position in a deer stand. This actually has a lot of merit. On the inside is a grippy panel, it's like a rubber kind of feeling material in here, a leathery rubber with some grip, and so you could use this uh, to put on a tank trap like that, you just give it a pat or you just pat your rifle down. If you're running PRS, you have a 20 pound rifle, you pat that down and it's flat, it's ready to go. It's nice and smooth on the top for the most part because it's just a Cordura material. If you wanted a little more resistance or grip, you could actually flip it around and this is actually still really stable guys. I know it may not look like it to you, but this is really stable. You could run your PRS rifle right in here and you have a little less surface area, but the grip is right here. Uh, I don't know why you would do that. Most of the time people don't want a super grippy top surface. It's just good for gripping onto like side angles or on the top of a railing or an awkward piece like this. And I'll tell you guys, I've been leaving my rifle sitting up there as I'm walking away with like a, a different rifle. It's about 12 pounds, no issues at all. It hasn't moved, it hasn't slipped at all. In fact, I think the design really causes it to hug onto what you're grabbing. And so I really trust it. I think it's a great bag. I don't have a lot more to say other than uh, I've been running it with this. This uh, this is a new optic, by the way. This AR pistol with a USO 3 to 12. I'll talk about that in a different video. I've been running it on there today and it's awesome. It's exactly the kind of thing that I want. It helps me stabilize that position and practice a little bit for NRL 22 or the big boy competitions coming up hopefully when ammo returns to the shelf. If you guys like that, go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you like about it. If you don't like it or you have a better option, I would like to hear about it as well. Remember, this is a bag that it's going to cost you around $60, but I think it's the most affordable version that's on the market right now. You can make it into a cylinder for a rear bag. You can set it up taller. If you need to go really tall for some reason, shoot over some brush. You could shoot this way. If you're going to shoot off a tank trap, Obviously, you have all those positions. It's a good bag. This one happens to be in the Cryptek Typhoon coloration. It's a dark coloration. I really like it. I think this is probably going to be one of my main go-to bags for here on the channel from now on. We'll see. I'll give you guys an update if I have any problems with it. Thanks.